Hi, I'm Emily from emilylearning.com. In this video, I'll be going through question 3 from the 2023 H2A level paper 2. So this is a question on vectors. So typically, um, most parts are relatively easy or doable. The only one that I want to go through is part D, which is a bit more challenging. I've provided the full work solution okay, um, on my website. I'll provide the link in the description below. So now let's go to this question here. All right. So in this question, the points A and B have position vectors of these. So we know that OA is equals to this, this is OA, and this is OB, right? Okay, the point C is such that BC equals to 2AB, and you're asked to find the position vectors of C. So basically, you're asked to find what is OC. So we make use of this, BC equals to 2AB. So we know OC minus OB equals to 2OB minus 2OA. So in other words, OC is equals to 3OB minus 2OA. Okay, so you have 3 of 1 minus 2, 8 minus 2 of minus 1, 2, 5. Okay, so um, evaluate this and you will get um, 5 minus 10, 14. Okay, moving on to part B. The position vector D, K, 1, 2, D is such that AD mod AD is equal to mod BD. Okay, so uh, you're asked to find what is D. So we know that mod AD is equal to mod BD. So we will need um, to find what is AD first and what is BD first. So um, A is minus 1, 2, 5. Okay, so I know OA is equals to minus 1, 2, 5. And I know OB is equals to 1 minus 2, 8. Okay, so let's find AD. So AD is equals to OD minus OA. Okay, which will give me 1, 2, D minus negative 1, 2, 5. Okay, which will give me 2, 0, D minus 5. Do the same for BD. So BD will be equals to 1, 2, D minus 1, minus 2, 8, which will give me 0, 4, D minus 8. Okay, and I know that mod AD is equals to mod BD. So to find mod is basically the square of the X, Y, and Z. Um, so it'll be 2 square plus 0 square, which is 0, plus d minus 5 square, will be equals to 0 square plus 4 square plus d minus 8 square. Okay? Ignore the square root because both of them have a square root. So I know 4 plus d minus 5 square is equals to 16 plus d minus 8 square. Okay? This is 5. Okay, then I expand it, I'll get 4 plus d squared minus 10d plus 25 equals to 16 plus d squared minus 16d plus 64. Simplifying everything, I'll get 6d, so all the d squared will cancel, right? So I'll be left with 6d, 6d is equals to 51, d is equals to 8 and a half. Okay, so therefore the value of d will be 8 and a half, so that mod ad equals to mod bd. Next, we are asked to use scalar product to find angle ADB. So to find angle, we will use cosine ADB, okay, is equals to AD dot BD, okay, over mod AD mod BD. Okay, and we have already found AD as well as BD previously. We just need to sub in D, which is equals to 8.5 in, okay? So let's do it. So I know that AD is 2, 0, 8.5 or 8.5 minus 5. BD is 0, 4, 8.5 minus 8. 
Okay, then divided by this. And I know from this part here, mod AD is equals to mod BD. So I just need to find one of them and square it. Okay, so it's basically 2 square minus 8 and a half minus 5 is 3 and a half. So it's 3.5 squared. Then mod AD is equals to mod BD. So I don't need to write that again. I just square it. Okay, how do I know it? It's because from here I know I'm given that mod AD goes to mod BD. So I don't need to find it and again. Okay, so simplify it. I know that on top it'll be um this is 3.5 times 0.5, right? So it's 3.5.5 over this one simplify, I get 16.25. Alright. So now angle A D B is equal to cosine inverse of this, which will give me 83.817 degree. Round off to one decimal place, I get 83.8 degree. Okay, now move on to part D. So in part D, you are given, uh, you're asked to find exactly the position vectors of point P, where P is the center of the circle that passes through A, B, and D. So to do these questions, right, you need to make use of um, some properties of circles and also some properties of isosceles triangle. So previously, right, from previous part, we already know that AD okay, is equals to BD, right? So we know that A, um, let me draw it this way. So if this is D and this is AB, okay, and this is an isosceles triangle. So if I were to draw a perpendicular line through D, Okay, uh, if I were to draw a line perpendicular to AB and passes through D, this line here, right, will be the perpendicular bisector of AB. It will divide AB equally into two parts. Alright. Another property that you will need, okay, in order to do this question, it's the perpendicular bisector of a circle. So if you look at the circle, Okay, so now we know that this is A, B, and D. Okay. Okay, and we are asked to find the center of the circle, which is P. So P is the center of the circle. So PA and PB will be of the same length, right? Okay, and then if I were to draw a line M here. Okay, M, let me call this M here. So M PM will be perpendicular to AB and it was also the perpendicular bisector. So PM is a perpendicular bisector of AB. Alright. Okay. So I know PM is perpendicular to AB. Okay. And it's the perpendicular bisector of AB such that AM equals to MB. So therefore, right, we also know that DPM, DPM, okay, is a straight line so so d p m is a straight line okay so you might be wondering so what so what i need to find p right so in order to find p i need to find something that satisfies p right i can find something that passes through p so this is p here so i know that i can find the line dm okay and then i know that point p lies on the line dm okay so let's do that so i'll first put in point d which is 1 2 8.5 so that i don't need to refer to previous slides then a is minus 1 2 5 and b is 1 minus 2 8 okay so now that i have all this i can find OM. OM is the midpoint of AB, right? So it will be equals to half OA plus OB. So let's find what is half of OA minus 1, 2, 5 plus OB 1 minus 2, 8. Okay, so this will give me a value of OM which is 0, 0, 6 and a half. Next, I want to find what is dm because I want to find the equation of the line dm. So I need um, the direction vector. So the direction vector will be dm. Okay, because I only know d, I only know p, 
M. I do not know point P. Okay, P, point P is what I will need to find later on. So DM is equals to OM minus OD is equals to 0, 0, 6 and a half minus 1, 2, 8 and a half, which gives me a value of minus 1, minus 2, minus 2, or minus 1, 2, 2. So I know the direction vector of this line is 1, 2, 2. So equation of line dm will be equals to r equals to, let me use a point, 0, 0, 6 and a half, plus lambda 1, 2, 2, where lambda is real. Okay, p lies on dm. So therefore, op will take the equation of this line. So op will take um, this equation. Okay, so I can write op equals to lambda, 2 lambda, 6.5 plus 2 lambda for sum for a certain value of lambda. And I need to solve for this certain value of lambda in order to find P. So I still need another equation, right? So let's look at what else can we form. Okay, so now let's take a look at db here. So do you agree that pd is equals to pb because they are both radius, right? So if I were to draw a perpendicular line passing through b, okay, to form this line at pn, so pn is perpendicular to db and pn will cut bd equally. So in other words, the line PN is the perpendicular bisector of BD. So I know that, okay, draw N where um, DN is equals to BN. So therefore, I also know that PN is perpendicular to DB. Okay, so in other words, right, I can form another equation. When two vectors are perpendicular, I know that I can form this equation, pn dot db is equals to zero, right? So once I have another equation, very likely I can solve for lambda. So let us start off by finding what is on. So on is a midpoint of db. So on is equals to half of od plus ob. Okay, so half of... um. 1 to 8.5 plus 1 minus 2 8. This will give me a value of 108.25. Okay, next let me find what is Pn. Pn is equals to On minus Op, which is equals to 108.25 minus Op, which is lambda, 2 lambda, 6.5 plus 2 lambda. Simplifying it will give me a value of 1 minus lambda, negative 2 lambda, and 1.75 minus 2 lambda. Okay? Do I know what is db? db, yes, I have found it previously, right? So I know from previous part that db is equals to 0, minus 4, minus 0 0.5. Okay, so now I know that db dot pn or pn dot db is equal to zero because pn is perpendicular to db. Okay, so I am going to take uh, db which is zero minus four minus zero point five dot one minus lambda negative two lambda and one point seven five minus two lambda equals to zero. Do this dot product so 0 times 1 minus lambda is 0 so minus 4 times minus 2 lambda is 8 lambda then I'm going to take negative 0 0.5 times 1.75 which gives negative 0 0.785 then negative half times negative 2 lambda will give positive lambda 
Okay, so I have 9 lambda equals to 0 0.875 and lambda is equals to 0 0.875 divided by 9. And if you to put it in the calculator, you get a value of 7 over 72. So OP is basically equals to lambda, which is 7 over 72, 2 lambda, which is 2 times 7 over 72, then 1.75 minus 2 lambda. Okay, simplifying this will give me a value of 7 over 72, 7 over 36, and 16 over 9. So this is the position value of OP.